Hi everyone, hope you're having a good time at this Wikimania. We certainly have a lot to reflect and celebrate in our community and I'm grateful that this conference is allowing us to safely gather this year. My name is Erika Zellini, I serve as Communications Manager at Wikimovimento Brasil and I work very closely with our community and all projects that we develop, including GLAM partnerships. And just adding to what Eder just presented to us, we can say that Wikimovimento Brasil has reached a high level of international recognition in GLAM through our creative and innovative use of Wikimedia platforms, especially when it comes to putting Wikidata at the center of our processes with institutions. Our golden case is definitely the partnership with the Paulista Museum, for which we develop integrated digital dissemination activities plus open technologies, as Edder just presented to us. And those technologies are quite pioneer. We are very proud of them, of course. And this digital dissemination leap of this particular museum that has been closed for almost 10 years now is what we would expect to approximate the general public and the institution in 2021, right? But I would like to highlight that this isn't the reality of most cultural institutions here. So although the Paulista Museum has a lot less resources than same level institutions across the global north, it is a very wealthy one in comparison to the average glam institution in Brazil. To briefly picture this scenario, according to a technological maturity research with museums under the federal jurisdiction, the majority scored very poorly when it comes to basic technical infrastructure, which is a parameter that includes internet access and collections digitization. And as we are here in the State of Glam 2021 panel, I think it's important to highlight not only the realities that prevent many institutions from digitally joining Wikimedia, but also the efforts that are being done to make them visible online in this low research context. So for us, it is crucial to face our local inequalities and start spreading resources throughout our territory to empower institutions and volunteers on sharing collections, especially considering that Brazil is a continental country with so much history and cultural diversity. So today, I'm proud to share with the community this bold initiative called Wikilove's Bahia that we are leading here in Brazil in order to address local content gaps and to reach out to cultural institutions in the margins of our country. Uh, Bahia is one of the largest and poorest states in Brazil, ranking in 22 out of 26 states in terms of human development indicators but it is very important culturally, historically, and socially. Uh, Bahia alone is bigger than Spain, and it is a territory of great natural and cultural diversity. It was actually the capital of Brazil at some point in our history, but it is a content desert on Wikimedia, which brings a lot of reflection on how we are dealing with the presence of our heritage on the internet. And for example, we noticed that there's a huge gap on how cities of Bahia are represented on Wikimedia Commons, since slightly less than half of the images there are depicting its capital called Salvador. The other half of the images mostly depicts touristic sites. Half of the cities have only less than five images there, and 25% of them don't have a single picture on Wikimedia Commons. It is alarming how invisible they are, even though they carry out such an important part of our culture. And that's why we started the Wikilove's Bio project. We want to address gaps in how the state is represented on Wikimedia while we engage local Wikimedians and cultural and educational institutions to act locally. And this is Brazil, a continental country and a considerable part of Wikimovimento Brazil team is located in the southeast region, which is the rich part of the country. And Bahia is this huge state in the northeast part. And we understand that GLAM partnerships are key for adding local knowledge on Wikimedia. And earlier this year, we added on Wikidata all GLAM institutions in the state of Bahia and you can see in this map that, yes, they exist. 
and that they are spread throughout the entire state. And again, Bahia is larger than Spain, so you can imagine the wide diversity of landscapes and cultural manifestations in this area. So this all means that there's a lot of potential in this region for connecting with local institutions. And when addressing this region, we took as a goal to diversify and empower GLAM partners so that to be in the community is not only for the large institutions. This is very important for us. And we tried to reach out to them, but we had a very low response rate. Let me also remind you that we are still living through a pandemic here in Brazil and that internet access in Bahia is not as widespread as in other states. Uh, for example, Bahia was the single state in Brazil that didn't have online classes in 2020 due to the lack of infrastructure. And the situation hasn't improved much since, which brings more challenges to our work that initially was planned to also engage students. So what are we doing then? We develop a GLAM tutorial resource on Outreach Dashboard so that GLAM institutions in any context are able to connect and contribute to the open GLAM community. As a Brazilian affiliate, we obviously want to support all GLAMs in Brazil, but at the same time, we have to figure out how not to make them dependent on us and spread capacity. And this GLAM tutorial includes three modules. One is an introduction to the Wikimedia ecosystem, so they are aware of its potential and what are our core values. Then they can learn how to set up a GLAM on Wiki. And finally, how to start uploading their collections there. And in this tutorial, we talk a lot about Wikidata and how to disseminate the collections on Wiki. We are also reaching out to cultural institutions and working on some partnerships. And at the start of the project, we run some very interesting queries to better understand the lack of content about Bahia on Wikimedia which is very important to visualize specifically what kind of content is not there and what kind of gaps or biases are in what we already have in there. And this is key for planning how to engage people to improve that, which is linked to the other action point here. We are working on several dissemination activities to engage our local community on improving content about Bahia and also to bring new volunteer editors from Bahia and some institutions as well. We launched a contest on Wikipedia in which volunteers started to edit thousands of created entries on Wikipedia related to the Bahia state. Until now, they have contributed to more than 800 articles and that's quite impressive. And we are also running some online editathons in which we invite local specialists for webinars on the events team and offer a tutorial for participants. And then we jump to the editing activity. And we, we will also launch a photo contest so people can share images of their cities in the Bahia State. Um, here's a banner for the contest highlighting one of the many cultural expressions in Bahia. And to wrap things up, I would say that we are just scratching the surface so far and that there's a lot of local challenges that we need to figure out. Um, our challenge here remains, how do we that are in a marginalized context can support regions that are even more marginalized in Brazil? But if by the end of the day, we can engage a few institutions and volunteers in Bahia to collaborate with Wikimedia and share their local heritage in this open glam ecosystem, all the struggle will be worth it. Any and every file and edit counts. So thank you all for watching this and I'm excited to join my colleagues for a discussion on the state of glam in 2021.